Welcome back, guys, for more Timberborn. And in this episode, we're going to be completely tidying up this corner of the map. Oh yeah, we're going to we're going to finish off Grabham Forest, and we're going to be introducing the carrot tops. The carrot tops love carrots, baked carrots, boiled carrots, carrot stew, carrot fricassee. You name it, they'll do it with a carrot. Okay, that sounded wrong. Okay, there, there is so much to do. I'm going to pause the game. There, there is so much to do in this episode that it's crazy. <laughs> what are we going to do first? So, um, I want to get the falls sorted out. I want to get rid of uh, get rid of this. So these guys have got to become independent. Because we're going to change these to actual beavers. So we're going to need some houses. Uh, I'm going to have to move um, like some haulers up there. So what I'm going to do is in here, I'm going to put in... If I can get the right thing. I'm going to put in two and a one. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this out along here to create some areas where we can have some buildings, like um, some houses and uh, a hauling post and stuff like that. So I'm going to be building that. What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, okay. Over here. We're going to have a massive bridge across a huge ravine because I think it'll look really cool. Uh, seriously, it's funny. You, uh, you take a day off, you come back, and you suddenly have all these ideas. It was... Um, I enjoyed my day off. It was nice. I <laughs> slept most of it. Well, um, I think five, maybe? Yeah, I'm thinking five. That comes out pretty much halfway across the river. Yeah, and then there's going to be another one on the other side. So I'm going to have to build this up. Oh, yeah. So that's that's going to be happening. Uh, this needs to be moved over here. But there's some stuff that I want to do down here. Although, I've got these guys. I think maybe I move that across a bit and use that to do down here. Yeah. So let's move this. You, my friend, are moving over to here. And I thought this little spot kind of here would uh, would be good for the district centre. Let's flip you around. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking kind of sort of in here. Yeah. That's going to go there, I think. Now, here in this... Uh, in this okay, first of all, I kind of... I, I was looking at this earlier and I was like... I kind of like this light blue rather than the dark blue. So I think I'm actually going to fill in because I took this down two levels, but I think I'm going to fill it in and just have it one level deep. Yeah, I think so. And then I think we want at least one and I think I think two Lido's in here. Where's well-being? Well-being. Uh, did it, did it, um, where's the Lido? It's this one. So I'm thinking a Lido. And then I was thinking another Lido here. In which case, I want to dynamite that and that. And we'll have another Lido in here. Okay, that's cool. And down here, somebody suggested in the comments um, a campfire down here. And I think that's a great suggestion. Look at look at the trees spreading. Now, it's awesome that they spread. I think it's good that they spread, but um, not so good for like if you want to plan out a little area like this. Now, you can use the paths to stop the spread. They won't they won't like cross a path. They'll only spread to like tiles right next to them. So I think maybe we use the path to stop the spread of the trees. Yeah, so um, I'll do that. Well, what else? What else? What else? Okay, the river. The river needs to come down here, and there's going to be a pool down here. So how? <laughs> how do I do that? Take it across, and then kind of follow the follow the cliff around here. Okay, now I need to do some dynamiting. Ah, uh, not dynamiting, you bonehead. 
<laughs> demolishing. They both begin with a D, so, you know, I was kind of in the right ballpark. Okay, dynamite. Um, don't want to come forward at that point. And I'm looking, I'm looking at this and thinking, that is exactly in the way of where I'd like the thing to come down. It's like this kind of thing. Ah, yeah, and come straight down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come straight down there. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Okay. Take those out. And... Do we, does it come... No. Ah. So it comes down there. Then it's going to come... This way. So there. Little waterfall. Am I going to have a little pool at the bottom? Yeah, maybe a little pool. And then we're going to have... Well, okay. actually, I wonder, like, do I have, a, do I have a, a pool here? Or a pool here? I'm thinking maybe, maybe we have the pool there. Yeah, let's do that. So, like, how big do we... Um, I don't want to be too big. Uh, let's... Maybe do. Let's just have a nice little round pool like that. Does that work? I think that works. Be those three as well. And then it's going to come through these trees, but I've got to get rid of those trees first. Okay, that's that done. Whew. Okay, so that's going to be that. Then this is, by the way, this is Chestnut Grove. This is going to be this corner here. It's Chestnut Grove. And it's going to be primarily chestnut trees. There will be other trees in here, but it's going to be primarily chestnut trees. And this is where we're going to be harvesting uh, chestnuts. Chestnuts that will be sent out to the highborn. So, I've been trying to figure out how many beavers I'm going to need in this area. Um, and when you start to work it out, it's like, well, okay, I just need, I just need, I don't know, two or three beavers gathering chestnuts. That's, that's pretty much it. You know what? I, I mean, I, there's chestnut trees in here. I could have another couple. So, I don't know, maybe four or five. Four or five beavers gathering chestnuts. Yeah, well, yeah, then you're also going to need, like, um, haulers. Um, and you're going to need transporters to transport the chestnuts to, like, another district to be shipped onto the highborn. Okay, fine. Well, they're going to need water, aren't they? So then you're going to need water. So you need somebody. And suddenly you end up with, like, like okay, so now I'm, like, 10 or 12 beavers. Um well, if I've got ten, like if I've got twelve beavers, is with one water pump going to be enough? Am I going to need a, like another guy? So then it's thirteen. Well, then I'm going to be hauling more water. I probably need another water hauler. So that's forty, and it just goes on like that. <laughs> so, yeah, that's going to be interesting. All right, that's that. Right. Um, I think what I'm going to do is have uh, down here the carrot tops. I think the carrot tops are going to be down here. So, um, carrot tops, pff, it's just going to be a case of throwing in a district down here. So, uh, what I think we'll do, uh, yeah, eventually we'll break this, but what I need to do is get, <laughs> is somehow get some, some food being sent up here to get these beavers up and running. Okay, you know what? Let me get this sorted out. Let me, pff, let me maybe figure out some, um, some logistics of getting some food moved uh, as well as doing all that i'm also over at the reservoir going to take this down another three levels now we've just had a really good wet season we had um and we can see it's day six we had five days before the warning so we're going to have what eight nine days of uh, of water um but we had a relatively short uh drought and then a full and like this is max water we've got 2.3 days so we'll we'll get a decent amount in here but i'm a i'm a little bit concerned about if i add a ton of beavers that that, that our water's going to start going down rapidly i've already added a lot of water tiles in and i would have expected more water than we've got right now so i'm, I'm a little bit concerned about the water situation so i'm going to take this down uh, another three tiles in both of these. Uh, let me. They've they've already started. 
Let me start it. I've, I've got loads of workers over here. I actually, I need to switch. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll pause that one. I need some terraformers. So let's get the, some terraformers working because they need to do this bit down here. So all they need to do is do these bits. Then I'll fill in the bit at the front and that creates the trenches. And then it's just dynamiting it down. Uh, they're, oh, they finished that one. Good job. Well done. So, yeah, there's, as you can see, there's a hell of a lot of dynamiting to do. But they can access the whole thing, so it's all good. All right, that's that. And then, as well as doing that, I'm going to continue uh, increasing our battery storage so that we can... Uh, I, I can have even more pumps and whatever around the place because I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be doing it. So this wall is done. We're going to start filling, um, you know, creating these walls coming out here for the for the batteries to sit on. And I'm um, getting this wall in, and we'll do exactly the same here. But that, 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 I'll do that kind of in the background. That's fine. Whew! Lot to do, right? Right. I'm just creating a space here for our first little house to go in. I'm excited. One more trick. Okay, cool. Right. Now, originally, I looked at this space and I was like, yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. No, <laughs> it wasn't big enough. Even for even for the smallest, well, not the smallest house, but the, almost the smallest house, just not big enough. So, what am I going to do? Uh, I am going to take out... Oh, I need to get rid of that tree as well. Oh, that is annoying. Okay, market for demolition. Let's take out the path. Like that. Okay, good. So the path is going to go like at the at the extremes of that area. Okay, so this is the area that we've got to work. In. It's not big. It's what is it? Four by one, two, three, four, five, six, four by seven. Yeah, not a big area. Okay, first thing I want to do. Um, well, first thing I should I should put the house in first, shouldn't I? Yeah. So what am I going with? I'm going with a regular lodge. And am I going to have the gate there? Yeah. Um, what do I have? A, no, I'm, I'm going to go with a mirrored lodge and have it there. Yeah. Okay, so your path's going to be there. Am I going to do a little let go on? We'll do a little bit. Am I going to do a little entrance way? I suppose we'll do a little entrance way with, um, let's see. So I want a, uh, a roof. Now, which way are we going to have that roof? Um, because we could go either way. I'm thinking maybe we have the, the roof going that way. And this roof will be this way. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Okay, then we're going to unlock log fences. And we're going to have a bit of fencing going on. So, how are we going to do this? I think we'll do it like that. And like that. So just a little house, little garden. Nothing big, nothing fancy. And then he's going to want some stuff in his garden. Yeah, just some blueberries and dandelions. Oh, and a, and a scarecrow. Got to have a scarecrow in his garden. Uh, let's turn you around that way. Is that the right way? Yeah, that's the right way. Yeah, it's got a little beaver tail. It's a beaver scarecrow. That is awesome. I love it. Let's see. Blueberry, blueberry. And then we'll have um, dandelions in the rest. Okay. We've got our first little house going on. Awesome. Right up here, the beavers have, have built this platform. And they've built this platform. And I've put in this platform, but I'm now thinking that maybe I don't even need it because I was I was counting the beavers that I'd need. I've got four irrigation, or, well, water dumps for the irrigation. Uh, so that's four I need. I need one to man the water pump. That's five. But, uh, what else do I need? No, I was thinking haulers. I suppose I could... If I don't have any haulers so that they haul their own water. I'm missing a... 
Am I miss I'm missing it. Oh, oh yeah, because I yeah, I put that in to do that. Yeah, that needs to go. And the staircase needs to go in there. Not the thing is not that we not that we go down there, but it's just being neat. So I flip you around, staircase goes in there. Okay. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try this without haulers. So in that case, all we need to do is put in uh do I want it doesn't matter whether I use a mirror or not. That's gonna go in there. Uh, that one's gonna go let's use the other one. Let's use that one. Boom, boom. You're gonna go in there. I'll let them finish building this just in case they do need to put the haulers in. But that will give me that will give me six beavers. Which means I'll have the five that I need plus one to be growing up. Well, they are absolutely blitzing this. Boom, roof goes on. Fence complete. Oh, gateway en entrance is complete. <laughs> the rest of the fence goes it. My God, they're flying. They're flying. What do we need for this? Look, oh, we haven't got any paper. I'll have to ship in some paper so that they can get that built. Drop off point is going to go in. I think I'll just tuck it away in this corner. Yeah, that'll be fine. Right, so they've already got water. All they need is a bit of food and they're good to go. So we can just like throw them some carrots or something and that'll be fine. Okay, cool. Then I think it's time to start thinking about the carrot tops. Okay, so the carrot tops, this is gonna be a little bit complex. I've just been having a little bit of a think about this. I think the first thing I'm gonna to have to do is set up uh, delivering biofuel over here, to, at, at least on a temporary basis. So um, let's get a distribution post. And I was thinking maybe it could go there. This might stay actually, because I think that would look quite good there. Because it, it kind of looks like a bit of a bit of a market kind of thing. So um, um, I, I, I was thinking maybe we put in a a house next to it here which is like a like a hotel for, the, for visiting beavers that's kind of where i'm going with this uh what do i, I want um well-being i want to throw in a couple of lidos so we'll have a, a lido here so this will be the hotel lido so that visiting beavers can go and have a nice relax and a swim and then i was thinking over here we could have another one to be the, the public lido where any old beaver can just Come and throw himself in the pond. <laughs> you like that idea, do you? Right, so... Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm thinking. The only problem with doing that is... The, if I put that there... That's not what I want. I want the path. Then I get this, which I don't like. I don't like that at all. So I think what we'll do is we'll put a bit of path there. And get rid of that one. I'm sure I can find something to put there little bush or something probably okay so we've got our lidos distribution post will go there okay um so then i'll set up a route to ship some biofuel over here temporarily now eventually we'll send carrots up to feed the beavers up here so how is that going to get there and i was just looking at this bit of cliff and thinking hmm maybe we have some stairs going up here uh so that'll be there then that'll be there awesome all right Boom, 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 and then I can just go into there. Okay, so we now have a route for the carrot tops to send carrots up to these guys. Awesome. Uh, let's sort out the bridge because this is important. Um, now, I have, I, I kind of measured it by eye. I think that the terrain would need to be, where is it? I think the terrain would need to be there, but it's, it's to be honest, it's kind of difficult to, I think, is that right? I don't know, it might be right. <laughs> it might be. It needs to come up one more, doesn't it? Okay. Um, so, how the hell, uh, I was just thinking about how the hell am I going to build this? But yeah, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Okay. No, it's got to be one forward. Yeah, 
Now, I could, I could have um, pillars coming up, and I kind of, I kind of do like the whole pillars coming up here thing. Is that, is that, is that the right spot? Looks like the right spot. And then, what, just the one on the top? I could do that. I don't know. Um, these are these are important decisions, guys. These are important decisions. Do we do it like that? Gives us a slightly wider gap, which is kind of cool. And you're probably saying, yeah, well, you could have just used a six suspension bridge. Yeah, but then it would be lopsided. Or you could put a six on each side. Yeah, but then this wouldn't be centered in the middle of the river, would it? <laughs> these, these are the important decisions. I, you know what? I think I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. I like it. Nine beavers. Let's see. I've got three. Nine. That would give me 12. One more homestead would give me 15. Ooh, that's upper limits of really what I would like. But I think, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. Uh, so what am I going to do? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. I'm going to dynamite that there. You know what? Let's prioritize that. See if we can't get that done quick. All right, you guys do that. We'll nip over here. So uh, we've got this bit to detonate. Boom, 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 boom. And then, ah, there we go. That bit. Yes. And I think we're done, aren't we? I do believe we're all the way to the bottom. And have I actually got it right? I think so. Yeah, I think we're only gonna, I think we'll try only damming the one bit. Oh, the drought's just ended. Good, we could do with some water. Should we do it? I think maybe we do it. Oh, they've already done that. Good Lord, they do this stuff alarmingly quickly sometimes. Uh, go. Right, well, let's, let's get them building this. Housing, triple lodge. Triple lodge goes in, which looks very nice there. Uh, we want a bit of a roof, don't we? Yeah, we want a bit of a roof. Um, decor I'll be under decorations then, Sky. Okay, thank you. Um, which one do I want? I want that one, don't I? I think. That's this, I mean... I could go with something like that to be a little bit different. What do we think? We have one of those. Yeah, ah, I tell you what. How about we have... Oh, I like this idea. How about we have one of those, right? We'll put a little bit on the top. Which I think I'm going to put that way. And then I'm going to have a wind gauge. Oh, yeah. Wind gauge on the top. There we go. Done. Right, let's do this, shall we? Detonate. Woohoo! And the water rushes across at lightning speed with the speed of a snail. And not one of the fast ones. Snail with a limp. <laughs> the water comes across. And we start to see green ink. Now, the question is, how far is that going to extend? Is it going to get all the way across? No, it's not. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. We get up to there. That's good enough, I think. We go, I'm going to uh, put in a forester over here, get some pine trees planted in this, this little bit. And then we'll just, we'll just have a, a dead patch. That's fine. We'll have loads of trees in here. It'll be fine. Oh, we've got a nice little waterfall. I like that. I like that quite a lot. We've got a little... We've just got a series of little waterfalls. That's brilliant. That's, that has worked out an absolute treat. And then we've got the down there. And it's all nicely irrigated. We've got a few patchy bits over here, but they are actually irrigated, so we can have trees on all of this. That's worked out very nicely. Right, the changeover is happening. Hopefully all these barrel bots are um, are leaving now. Uh, oh, I, have I done all of it? No, see, I didn't. 
that should be switched to beavers. That should be switched to beavers. I've done all of the others. Switching the other buildings to uh, to beavers. That's beavers. That's beavers. That's beavers. So there should be some beavers headed over here. Some actual live beavers. Oh, there's a beaver. I see you. Look at him. Look at him go. <laughs> Woohoo, I get to live at Flying Beaver Force. Yes, you do. Get yourself up here and bring some friends. Good Lord, that's a, that's a long climb. Look, look at him go. I bet beavers hate stairs. Here he goes. Where are you going to go? You're gonna, you're gonna live over here, I assume. Where are you gonna work? You gonna work in this one? No, nope. no, he's gonna work in this one, I think. There he goes! Hooray! Disappears into his little workplace. Zalmea, our first beaver. Woohoo! Now, I'm sure you're screaming at the uh, at the screen at the moment, going, "Well, you started shipping biofuel up here, but you, then you've switched it to beavers." Yeah, I know, but I also set up a distribution route for carrots. Ha 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 ha! See. None have arrived yet, so there's every chance that these guys will starve to death. But, you know, it is what it is. There are a few things that I want to do. Um, I think I'm going to take this little bit of terrain back. Because I don't think it makes sense. And obviously I want to fill these in at some point. Get rid of these. Um, but we want, we want the carrot tops to be farmers. So I'm going to need some farmland. And I'm just kind of looking at this and thinking like maybe maybe this area here. Maybe maybe I take this the, the terrain back a little bit here. And I'm thinking that's not the worst idea I've ever had. Let's have uh, let's have a bit of a road going up here so that we can actually get to these trees. Uh, let's get these trees removed. Um, demolish would be the, the right way to do that. Let's okay, go. Well done. Uh, let's get all of those removed. And then, yeah, I think we're going to start dynamiting this back, this terrain. It's, I'm looking at this and thinking that might come in a bit further. I'm already, see, I'm already looking at this and thinking, yeah, maybe that comes out as well. But you know what? I mean, that's going to be an organic process. Um, down here, serious dynamiting like that's going all the way back i've got to wait for them to finish these trees they're in range aren't they yeah they're all in range wait for them for them to do that uh, i should prioritize them to get that done first shouldn't i yeah that's a smart move okay do that and then some serious dynamiting okay what i think i'm going to do at this point i'm going to get this terrain looking the way i want uh, i'm going to get this built up uh, I need to remove these trees, don't I? Yeah, that's a good point. That's a very good point. What do I want? Uh, yeah, that'd be remove, um, mark, mark resources for demolition. Yes, I remember. Can I get to all of that? No, I can't. I need some paths going on. Um, let's have a path going there for those guys. And that should reach everything, shouldn't it? Yeah, all done. Okay, that, that, I'm going to plant this up. And I might even put another homestead in. I'm thinking, I'm thinking here would be a good spot for a homestead, maybe. Yeah. So what have we got? We got 9, 12. So it's, it's only going to be a, like a little, a little place. Okay, I, I'll do something similar to this one. It's going to be, you know, fences and stuff like that. I still need to get paper for that scarecrow, don't I? Yes, I'd forgotten that. All right, let's get on with it. Well, many hours later, and here is Grabham by the Falls, looking awesome. I, now, I haven't got as much done in this episode, and I'm t totally out of time. <laughs> I'm way over time. I need to get this video out. Um, I haven't done as much as I would have liked to have, uh, have done, but having said that, what, what I have done, I'm very pleased with. I will give you um, a, a detailed look in a second, but um, I want to talk about water because I'm concerned. We've we've okay. We've just we've just finished the uh, the drought, 
And it wasn't a particularly long one either. Kind of mediocre. And we are almost out of water in the reserves. Now, I mean, we've still got tons of water. It's not like, it's not like we're out of water. But it's like we could have a couple of good years and everything would be awesome and we'd be swimming in water. But I'm fairly sure at this point that we're losing water, which let's face it, is no surprise because I've been throwing water around like it's going out of fashion. So at this point in the build, this is um, this is purely an aesthetic build at this point. Um, we're not we're not worried about the blooming game mechanics and whatever. So I think um, there's I mean there's a few things that I can do. Um, I think the easiest is to use the dev tools and add an additional water source so that I don't have to worry about the water because because uh, otherwise it's just going to drag this out because I'm going to have to do like radical things to reduce our, our water uh, consumption. And I don't want to be faffing around with that. I, I, I want to be adding to our water consumption, not taking away from it. I just want to make the map really beautiful and get it finished and then go and play Iron Teeth and start a new map. So yeah, I think that is what I'm going to do. Like, unless any of you have got any like massive feelings on the subject, uh, that is what I'm going to do. But like, if you, if you feel strongly either way, leave me a comment. Right, let's go take a look, shall we? Where should we start? I know. We'll start we'll start at the top of the river valley and we'll kind of work our way down, I think. So we've got we've got this little addition to the uh, to the meadow. A picture, do you want to see want to see this? Because I haven't really given you an update for a while, yeah. have I? So this is the meadow. And all the all the plants have um, have spread and taken up all the space. We've got a got a little campfire down there. Oh, for the beavers to uh, to relax and then if we go a little bit further up we come to the first little little house little right those <laughs> beaver scarecrows i think are brilliant what an absolutely brilliant. you know what let me turn let me turn the ui off so we can really enjoy this so yeah we've just got a little gateway nice little log fence nice and rural a few really plants cute. it is staggeringly cute isn't it <laughs> yeah just a just a, a little house, a little house in the country, a little yeah. cottage, and then we go up to grab. Oh, by the way, I was I was going to call this Lower Grabham, and then somebody left me a comment. I I, I wish I could remember the guy's name because this was genius. This, if oh you can't see it because I've turned the UI off. Hang on a sec. There you go. This is Grabham down below, <laughs> <laughs> rather than Lower Grabham. Grabham down below. Lovely. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, over here is Blueberry Falls. And the water's not running at the moment because um, there it is. Uh, the reason that the water is oscillating the way it is is because what happens is the pumps, um, the pumps pump the water. And, and what I've been doing is I've been turning them on one after another. So I wait for this to fill up and then I turn this one on and wait for this to fill up. And then I turn this one on and wait for that to fill up. Right, and then everything runs smoothly for a while, but eventually, evaporation. Because because you're putting one pump's worth of water in, taking one pump's worth of water, worth of water out, eventually, uh, evaporation runs it dry, and then you get this will pump water in, this will pump it out, but every now and then it'll run out of water. There'll be no water to pump. And then what happens is you get the, the, the oscillating of sometimes it's got water, sometimes it hasn't. And then the, the dams kind of work, don't work, work, don't work. And then that's when you see the waterfall. Sometimes it's working, sometimes it's not. And it's the same over here. So, yeah, let's turn it back on. Okay, so we'll continue. Um, so this is grab them down below and then we go through the forest it's a lovely lush thick dense forest up to grab them by the falls we've got uh, these are the blueberry cliffs and then here's the town and here's the here's the the mighty majestic bridge <laughs> which connects grab them by the falls to the carrot tops this is well if it, if, it, if i'd got the ui this is called the, the carrot tops uh, we'll, we'll have a look at the Carrot Top uh, farm down there in a second. 
But up here we've got uh, we've got the distribution post. We've got um, the house here, the hotel, with the little wind vane on the top, which is very cute. And then over here, this is just the storage. And I've just put a roof on it and given it some fences and a few flowers. And it kind of looks like a house, but obviously it isn't. And then we've got the Lido, so we've got the public Lido for all the all the trash beavers <laughs> to use and then we've got the, the the nice private lido for the for the uh for the visitors for the for the hotel and then we've got pine trees i know a lot of you were keen to have pine trees up here we have pine trees up here and i tell you what when you when you go back a bit it just gives it that mountain feeling having pine trees up at that elevation it's very cool i like it a lot i i tell you what i am so tempted because if you look at this, you get a nice density of trees and you don't you don't get any any patchy bits. But when you go up here, it's just tree trunk tree. And there's kind of a bit of a gap. So I'm I'm seriously thinking about taking this front layer down one tile and replanting it. That is quite a lot of work. But yeah, I I, I gotta say I am very tempted to do that. And then, and then what else? What else? I've kind of made a little bit of a feature out of the uh, district centre, giving it a little uh, little gateway and a, a little garden with a few dandelions. Uh, that needs to go at some point, but I'm hanging on to it in case we need some dirt. Then down here, we've got another house, um, which apparently is um, a guy who really, really loves potatoes. <laughs> Freaking can't get enough of potatoes. Is he a couch potato? He, well, he probably is. He probably is. Um, but he's got a he's got a little uh, a little campfire outside. Little garden going on. Plenty of maple trees around. Now, what I didn't get around to to doing. This is chestnut growth, by the way. Uh, the majority of these trees are chestnut trees, and you can see they've got chestnuts growing on them. <laughs> and these are ready to be harvested. If I had the UI on, you'd see that. <laughs> <laughs> take my word for it um yeah but i i haven't got around to actually putting the um the gatherers in to to gather the the chestnuts yet we'll do that in the next episode we'll do all the logistics of um gathering the the the, the chestnuts and transporting them and because that's going to be a whole thing and the same with the carrot tops so let's come down so this is the river valley now and it's looking pretty nice i i gotta say i love the bridge in the distance and I, I think i think this has worked out very nicely i've taken um this feature back a little bit made it a little bit smaller i think i don't know i don't know whether it needs to be any smaller i think once i get rid of this garbage uh, fill these holes in and just have another another carrot farm over here then i think it'll all be uh, all be good so over here all i've done is thrown in a nice big field of carrots we've got three farmhouses going on uh, over here, we've got, um, again, storage. Just a simple storage, throwing a roof on. We've got transporters ready to transport that stuff around the place. In fact, I think they are already transporting carrots up to... Uh, I forgot. Oh, grab them by the falls. Yes, <laughs> grab them by the falls. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm sure I'm already sending carrots up there. So, yeah, that's that. And then we come over here. And we've just got the uh, the lake, the river coming down. And I've left this just plain because this floods every now and then. If, um, you know what, if I speed it up, you'll see. Because what happens is, and I, this, this is just the behavior of dams. This fills up and then it'll kind of just dump more water. And then this will start to flood. And then it goes away. And of course, it won't do it while I'm looking at it. Do it, damn it. <laughs> yeah, come on. Have a little bit of a flood. Nah, it's not going to. Okay, whatever. Uh, take my word for it. It does flood every now and then. So, yeah. I thought, you know what? We'll just have a bit of a bit of a, a floodplain down here. I think at some point I might do something up here, but I'm not sure exactly what I would do up there. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So yeah, there you go. That that corner of the map is basically done. Got to do got to do this bit down here, 
but other than that we we are basically done now the big ol' I'm I'm seriously thinking that I, I would love to put a water source in here use the map editor and put put a, a water source in here uh, have it overflowing here down into the river um, maybe some I don't know I, I'd probably still keep the pumps going but what I would do is dam it uh, across it damn it <laughs> I would dam it across here probably because um, at the moment people have said why, why don't you put a dam across here and, and so that the water level goes up um, it's because if I did that the the bottom part of the valley would flood because of, because of pumping the water in uh, if I put a dam here this would keep the water level always at, at maximum the dam would therefore constantly be um, letting water down into the downstream and downstream there's nowhere for the waters to go so it would flood so that's why that's why i haven't got a dam there but if we had a water source here emptying into the river going so the water would come down here and then what i would do is i would probably put in um, a stream or something with some pumps and pump it back up here probably into the first reservoir but it kind of depends on the, the, like how many how many of the, the the water source tiles i was to put in and um yeah because they produce a lot of water a lot of water so i don't know whether i could actually cut i'd need a lot of pumps so i'm not sure about that um yeah yeah the, the whole adding a water source is not a simple task uh it could completely unbalance things so it would have to be done very carefully but I, I think it, that is probably the solution because I just want to focus on the aesthetics and I think you guys do too. Um, I, we're, we're done with like more reservoirs and playing around with it. It's like, I mean, if I wanted to start, I could just fill this in for one thing. I could fill this in. I could narrow my waterways. Uh, I, can, I can fill this in for a start. Um, again, narrow the waterways. This can be filled in so it's just a channel. Um, but who the hell wants to do that? I like having some blue on the map. And um, we've already beaten it, so... I think I think that's the smart move. Hopefully you'll agree. All right, guys, we're going to leave it there for this episode. I like... All I'm going to say is, wow, I freaking love how this has turned out. I cannot wait to do some more. Um, I'm definitely going to do some more with the terrain around here. Uh, and then I just want to—I just want to get this ripped out, get the farm it. I, oh, it's gonna be awesome! <laughs> Shall I shut up and go away? <laughs> but I think it's probably because otherwise I'll just go off on a rip. Oh, I love it. All right, <laughs> guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for all your comments. You're so supportive. I love you guys. I will catch you for the next one. Peace out. Bye.